Hello, welcome to Tesla How To Videos. Today what we will review is the um, local mode of Tesla application on our FTB and Max application. So basically any FTB now shipping the factory uh, are coming with the Tesla application where you can use it along with the Tesla account uh, but you can also use what we call the local mode which will give you basic job capabilities directly from the uh, the test set without having to to get an account or connectivity with a server so basically in order to launch the test application you go on the desktop of your device and you double click the icon you find on the desktop this will launch the test loop application. What I could do from here, I could enter my email and password if I had an account on the test flow. But if I don't have an account and I just want to use the test loop application in local mode, I can simply hit local and I can from there define new jobs. So basically the local mode will be handy if you want to have a, a, a you know few jobs defined in the application. So you're working on different projects, few different projects, you can you can define a job per project and you can also you know have a better visibility of where you had into the jobs execution uh, because like I will I will I will show you you can see at some point where you you know the completion rate of your job you can see where you had you can you can go through the different IDs so it's something that you could you, you can use with the local mode so basically at the bottom you have you know if you're starting from fresh you only have one option it's to create a job so basically you create a job a new one so basically here you define the job properties so basically the job ID in this case so I'm just gonna call job or oh, I'm gonna local job here a company you define you know same as if you were defining a new uh, project into let's say the native application the IOM the FIP or the OBM but now you do it from the test flow application so in this case I'm just gonna go quick on this once you have filled up the um, job properties you can simply create that job and the application will ask you do you want to have the IDs to that job so basically what kind of job will you be doing? You know, will it be a FIP, IOM, or OPM? In this case, we're just gonna do a simple IOM uh, job. And here I can define, you know, my identifiers. So basically, uh, what will need to be tested for that specific job? So basically, I want to test uh, two cable. In this case, I'm gonna start with cable one, and I'm gonna go with cable two. Um, I'm gonna use a separator. And eventually this naming here will be used to name the files that are, that will be generated from the uh, from the application. So basically here, I'm gonna go with uh, fiber zero. I can start with fiber A and I'm gonna go until fiber F. So you see the system recognize these kind of increments. So it's gonna start from cable zero one and it's gonna do fiber A, fiber B, C, D, F, and after that, it's going to increment on the, to the second cable and do the same. And you see there, I have 12 identifiers. In, the, um, in this mode, we support up to 150 identifiers. Okay, so that's the, um, what we support with the local mode. So basically, when I hit create, this will create the 12 IDs. And if I want to start executing a specific job, I can simply hit the um, circle, this will launch the, uh, in this case, the IOLM application. And when I launch it from test flow, the IOLM application will be in what we call a test flow mode, which is, you know, a lighter mode where you don't have saving capabilities, you don't have the, the all the, the, the saving capabilities that you normally have with the, with the um, native application because, you know, test flow will manage the saving on the file and all, so you don't need to, to, do, to hit the save button after the, uh, the acquisition, the application does it for, for yourself. So basically, now what I can do, I can, you know, I can set some user preferences if I wanted to, the same user preferences that I normally have, test configuration, right now I, I have all the default test configuration that comes with my unit and I can select any, any of them. Um, the identification is, is not something that I can change because it's something I defined within my job from the test flow application. So now I can simply hit you know, start and this will initiate the test as per the test configuration I have selected. And as soon as the uh, acquisition is completed, 
test flow automatically save the result and I can see a pass fail in my uh, in my job view so basically here I can, I can I could go in sequence so I can use these navigation arrow here to go to the next one or I couldn't I could set the um, preferences to go to the next one on pass so if the result is passed it's just going to inc automatically increment and go to the next one so let's see I'm going to test the second fiber here and while the test is executing I can go back to test flow you know it's executing in background at the end at the end of the process I will see my pass fail here okay if down the road I need to add some tests I can always go back to the wizard and add tests to the job if needed um, what I can also do is to export these uh, these files so let's say I have finished my job I want to export the files that in order to put them let's say on a USB stick or open them in fast reporter I can select the, the job and export those into a folder uh, on my desktop so basically here what it's gonna do it's gonna export the file and what I can use these file for it's generate let's say a report using fast reporter so you see here the, f the, the files that I have just generated have been saved here so that's something I can I can use to share with my colleagues or like I said open and fast reporter and generate a <coughs> and generate a, a report um, you can delete you know these job if you uh, yeah. once you finish you can delete the job and these will be gone from the, the system and you can go back and create new ones again so this is the local local test flow mode which you know it, it's free it does, does not require uh, um, uh, registration with the test flow account uh, you can use it with, with any of your FTB or, or, or max platform Thank you.